Have you ever experienced the inconvenience of an overbooking? Frustrating, right? So what's the solution? What about avoid it in the first place? Hi guys, my name is Joshua and I'm going to go through with you two of the tools that I've used to help avoid overbooking a bed and breakfast. You could also use it for a hotel as well. Those are iCal or a channel manager. I'm also going to go through with you how you could link your hotel website with Airbnb so to make sure that both your calendars are synced. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing so you could stay updated on my website and online marketing tutorials that I'll be posting from time to time. Also feel free to like the video and leave a comment and I'll sure to answer it, as well as I'll share some tips to guide you in the right direction. So let's get started. iCal or Channel Manager, which one should you use to avoid an overbooking? So what is iCal in the first place? Now, iCal is a computer file format for storing calendar information. So think about it for a second. Assuming you have your website and you have about 20 rooms that you rent. You also would like to advertise those on Booking.com, Airbnb and TripAdvisor. When you rent one of your rooms on Booking.com, leaving you at 19, you would want that to be reflected on your website, Airbnb and TripAdvisor and iCal will allow you to do that as well. And I'll show you how you can do that. Let's look at some of the benefits of using iCal. So firstly, iCal is free. Secondly, using iCal will reduce the number of manual entries, which will save you time. iCal will allow you to reduce overbooking. You'll have the same availability calendars when you synchronize both of your channels or as much channels as you have. What to consider before choosing iCal? Firstly, iCal can have delays that may vary based on the online travel agencies. It could be as short as two minutes, but it could also be as long as an hour, depending on the online travel agency that you're using or your website settings. So you wanna take that into consideration. The second thing to consider is that there's a limited booking details brought over with iCal information. So for example, you may get a booking on Airbnb and when you bring over that information to your website, you may find that you will only get the last four digits of the telephone number. You may also get the availability section that is blocked off. You may not get what time the guest is checking in, what time they're checking out, how much guests are checking in at the same time. So you have to consider that. So these information, you will then need to log into Airbnb to then get that information. Also, it can be susceptible to mix up. It can be complicated. Think about if you have five, six, seven, or eight channels, trying to sync all of them may not always work the way you want it to work. So let's look at an example of how you could link your website with Airbnb. So here we are in the back end of our website. We're using the hotel booking plugin to manage all of our bookings. If you would like to see how you can do so, I will link a video to this to the top of this page and you'll be able to see how you could go to step by step to create a hotel booking website. But for now, let's see how we could do this. First thing first, we need to go to bookings and check sync calendars. Once here, we need to identify the room or property we would like to sync with one of the other online travel agencies. For this example, I deleted the sync that I had previously so I could show you how you can do it from scratch. What you would want to do is copy the calendar address for the property you want to sync. Just highlight it. Now we can go to your online travel agency. For this example, we're gonna be using Airbnb. So if you log into Airbnb and go to your listings, you will see all your listings. I have three listings for this property. I'm going to click on the one I want, which is Hibiscus Villa. Once there, just click on availability and scroll down and look for import calendar. So I will click on that and it's asking me for the calendar address that I would have copied from my website. So I could come here, paste it, and give it a name. So I can call this website Hibiscus Villa. Once you've entered the name, 
choose import calendar. All right, so what you've just done is link your website to Airbnb, but we now need to do the opposite. So I want to also export my calendar from Airbnb. So this is the address that I'm going to copy from Airbnb. Now I need to link that to my website. So I will go back to the website, choose the property I want to link it to, and I will choose edit, or I could have chosen import calendar as well. Once I click on edit, you'll have an option here to add new calendar and I can paste that address there and simply choose update. And that's it. If I go back, I will now see I have this address linked to my Airbnb property. So I have the external calendar here and this is my internal calendar. If I go back to Airbnb, I will see the same thing there. And if I want to sync it, I can click the sync button to manually sync it. The last thing I will show you is where you would go to set the time it should sync. So you would then go to accommodations and then settings. On the general tab, you will scroll down and you are looking for the section that is dealing with your calendar synchronization. So here I could decide if I want to enable automatic external calendar synchronization. I can choose what time I would like it to synchronize and how often. You'll have the option to synchronize up to quarter an hour or every 15 minutes, half an hour, once an hour, twice a day or once a day. But as you would notice, the shortest time you could synchronize it is quarter of an hour. So you can understand if someone booked on Airbnb, there might be a 15 minutes window that someone can actually come to the website and book and there might be an overbooking. So that's where I'm talking about that they, you have to be mindful that there are some delays depending on the software that you're using. But there you go, we've synced both of our, our website and Airbnb. So let's continue and look at the comparison with a channel manager. So what's a channel manager and how is a channel manager different? Firstly, a channel manager is a tool to efficiently manage bookings on your website, online travel agencies, wholesalers, or global distribution systems. So just think about it this way. Your channel manager is going to link all of your online travel agencies and all of your channels, but it's going to do a lot more than that. So what's some of the benefits of using a channel manager? Firstly, it's faster when it comes to syncing between your different channels. As we saw with the example I just showed you with the Motopress Hotel Booking plugin, there was at least a 15 minutes lapse between which your bookings might be synced. With a channel manager, you may be able to synchronize all of your channels almost real time. You will also be able to automatically book and get the booking details such as the availability, the guest information, your prices and so forth, you may be able to sync them automatically. If you have certain specials, you don't have to go manually changing your prices on every of your channels. You could do it in your channel manager and it will automatically update on all your other channels. It also would allow you to increase your visibility in a seamless way. Most channel managers is gonna be able to put you on channels ranging from 60 to 100, even up to 400 channels at the same time. You can kind of understand that that will be quite difficult if you were using iCloud to try to manage all those channels. But there are some things you need to consider when you're choosing a channel manager. First thing that you need to consider is that it usually is a monthly or a transaction fee. So it's not free like iCall. You're also gonna to need to consider some channel managers might charge a cancellation fee. So take that into consideration when you're choosing a channel manager. Lastly, it may vary in terms of your needs. In some cases, you could get a basic channel manager by itself. In other cases, it may be integrated with a property management system, a front office system, or a payment or a gateway. I would like to share three examples that you could check out when you get some more time. 
The first example is My Allocator from a cloud beds company. And this may start as low as $25 a month. So it may work for a smaller property that's looking to get their advertising out on a lot of channels. You could also up your gain by using SiteMinder. It's a little bit more expensive. It's about $79 a month, but they're able to advertise your property on over 400 booking channels. You could also check out Little Hotelier. I think this is a very excellent option for a bed and breakfast or a small hotel looking for not just a channel manager but you might want to get a property management system a direct booking technology channel manager a front office desk all in one package so check out these three options when you have some time i will leave a link to it in the description of this video so what's the best option for your vacation rental property iCal might be suited for a small property most interested in selling their rooms across a few channels and ensuring that you're blocking off your availability. While a channel manager may suit a much larger property or one that is going to be changing their price frequently, you may also want to integrate with a, pro a property management system and a booking engine. So here are your options. So hopefully you now have some more options as to which one of these tools might suit you best. But most importantly, try one of them. At least start with iCal. It's totally free. It's not going to cost you anything and it's going to save you a lot of manual time. You could also do it to link Airbnb to Booking.com or Airbnb to TripAdvisor and vice versa. It is totally free, so you could always check it out. You could also up your game and move to a channel manager and have your property advertised on a lot more channels. Either way, you can't go wrong. We really need to start avoiding overbooking. It is so frustrating. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to subscribe, like the video and share with your friends. See you in the next one.